Election day is tomorrow and volunteers with a local nonprofit organization souls to the polls are working around the clock to make sure everyone has a ride to their polling location. And our Adriana Mendez joins us now with more on that. Yeah, well, early voting has now ended, so in order to vote, you must show up at your polling location. But for some, getting to that polling site presents its own set of challenges. Outside of St. Gabriel's Church of God, Nita Joyner is returning from early voting. Her ride volunteers with souls to the polls. We vote for an, a new mayor, so it's very important. They are helping residents with mobility and transportation issues find rides to their polling location and it's all free of charge. Recently, based on state Supreme Court laws, it's mandatory that absentee ballots are physically dropped off at a voting location box or mailed in personally by the voter. That's why volunteers are working around the clock to make sure everyone has a ride and an opportunity to vote. I'm a pastor and we do our part to make sure that that all people, regardless of their, whether they're disabled or not, have an opportunity. Okay. Volunteer Reverend Larry Jackson spent his afternoon using his vehicle to make multiple trips, assisting people like Gerard Clancy. He says it's all about the community coming together. When you look at the history, people have made many sacrifices in order for us to have the right to vote. Mm -hmm. It's very important that we get people to the poll. Norma Ballantyne with Souls to the Poll says not only are they offering free rides, but volunteers have been out canvassing throughout the neighborhoods, reminding people that an election is coming up and the importance of it. Because it's the first time we voted for a new mayor of our city in 17 years. Souls to the Poll's volunteers say they will be out assisting residents throughout Election Day because every person should have an opportunity to cast their ballot. It's very uh, heightened partisan moment that everyone vote to ensure that our democracy continues and that voting is strengthened and not weakened. Now, if you need transportation to the polls, so to the polls will assist anyone who needs a ride. All you have to do is give them a call at 414-383-1821. So Andrew and Susan, they will help out anyone who needs it. It's a great a program that'll get people to and from their polling sites. All right, Adriana, thank you. And polls will open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow. We have put together what is a voting guide to help with registering to vote, finding your polling place, and what you need to bring with you just scan the QR code that you see on your screen right now with your smartphone to be directed right to our page, tmj4.com decision 2022.